Today's tip is the final in this series about avoiding Zoom burnout and how to become a better online presenter. There'll be nothing new here, but you're going to walk away with three key ideas on why you should embrace virtual presenting in February of 2021 when I'm recording this. The first reason, more than any other, is that online presenting is here to stay. It isn't going away. Pre-COVID, virtual presenting was there. People were using it. I know when I would talk to people at networking events and suggest that we talk on a video conference call, the majority of people would say, oh no, I can't do that. I have to be in front of people. Well, COVID proved that no, that's not true. You don't have to be. It can be an effective tool. But more importantly, businesses have seen the advantage, the cost savings of using virtual. Yes, we will go back to live presenting. We'll go back to live one-to-one -one meetings. But embrace this as an opportunity to expand, to expand your reach, which is really my second point. This is the best opportunity I've seen in business in my 30 years of being in business. There are 1.5 billion people on earth who speak English. Now, again, those people were available before COVID, but people weren't thinking that way. They thought, I have to stay in a geographic area. I can only work in my country. It's not true. This medium now allows you to reach people all over the world. Uh, most businesses, now auto mechanics and air conditioning repair people, they can't do that, obviously, but most people in the service business, the world has been opened up to us like never before. The other way this is a huge opportunity is in the speaking world. Not just professional speakers, anybody who stands up as part of their job and goes out there and gives presentations, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I say that because I've witnessed, I've watched professional speakers, highly paid individuals, watch their businesses crumble. And it's because they bought into a myth they bought into the myth that they were the ultimate product, they on stage, I should say, that if they weren't in front of a live audience, they couldn't be effective. That's absolutely untrue. They got caught up in this idea that it was the delivery method and not the message, not the value. I can bring the same value over a camera that I can in person. Would I prefer to be live? Sure. Who wouldn't? But we have to embrace this, especially during a lockdown period, and use it. The people who embrace it, see this opportunity, are going to jump way ahead in the speaking field. The third, and I think most important idea in this video, is that it is vital that you embrace making mistakes. I've given over 500 online presentations, workshops, training sessions, speeches, and I'm pretty good at it now. I still make mistakes every single time. It's a technology glitch. It's me not paying attention and hitting the wrong button. Uh, the other night I was hosting a, a coaching workshop and I, right in the middle of a video, I hit the wrong button, things stopped. Everybody was like, what's going on? Uh, it happens. Don't get caught up in that. At the end of that coaching call I was on the other night, uh, we asked for takeaways, which we always do. And not one person mentioned the mistakes I made. And I think it's because I didn't mention them. I just said, oh, sorry, glitch, move on. When you make those errors, learn from them, but do not focus on them. Audiences online are very forgiving. They understand how difficult this is. In the end, it's the value you provide, the perspective on a topic that people want. You give them that and they'll forgive any minor mistakes along the way. So I encourage you to keep getting on camera, keep giving presentations. It's your opportunity to stand out, to advance your career faster, or if you have your own business, uh, grow that business. People are attracted to those individuals who can succeed on camera and on stage. This is the final tip in this series, but it's certainly not the final video I'm ever going to do. I'm actually in the middle of a studio remodel so I can have a better feel and presence on camera uh, with my surroundings. So in about a week or so, I'm going to start a storytelling video series. So check that out. Uh, if you have any questions at all, if I can help with regard to online presentations, if you'd like access to some of my complimentary resources, just email me, Mike at Speaking CPR. Get out there and speak, and I look forward to seeing you on camera soon.